It's not a secret to anyone that Team Fortress 2 is full of weirdos. There are new dramas happening almost every year, which mostly revolve around someone within the TF2 community who already has publicity. YouTubers, infamous cheaters, admins of big TF2 marketplaces, and so on. These dramas range from stupid and unreasonable to actually serious and creepy. However, it is just a tiny fraction of what's really happening in TF2. You can run into a peculiar fella at any point in time in this game, which is exactly what happened to me a few months back. I don't worry, this time it will not go dark or super emotional like it did once before. This time I want you to have fun, because the star of this video is very goofy. Welcome everybody to a new episode of Freak Show, it's your boy Vorabey, and today I will tell you the story of Ryan. And before we begin, I want to ask you something important. I know that many of you guys love watching my videos while eating something, right? But is food that you eat healthy? I mean, anytime I play TF2 or watch random stuff on YouTube, I'm way too lazy to cook myself, so I consume lots of junk food and then feel bad about it. Pretty sure some of you can relate. In case you struggle with the same problem, I have a great solution for you. Factor 75, a meal delivery service that provides freshly prepped healthy meals for the whole day. Forget about cooking. Factor 75 has meal plans for any lifestyle. Style. Choose your calorie levels, your protein levels, your vegan or keto options if you're on a diet. With more than 27 dietitian approved meals each week, there definitely should be something for you. And most importantly, everything will be delivered to your doorstep. Not frozen, but freshly crafted and ready for you to heat and enjoy. And no need to wash dishes. I swear I hate washing dishes. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POKVARABEY October 50 for 50% off your first box. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Start eating healthy today with Factor 75. So, who is Ryan? Or Von Kriege, which is his YouTube name. I'll be calling him Ryan because his other aliases are too long to pronounce. And what makes Ryan goofy and weird? To start answering this question, I'll have to unironically use a word that I hate so fucking much. He is a tryhard. Not in the mainstream, distorted sense of this word, aka someone who kills friendlies or sweats too much in a match. No. Ryan is an actual tryhard. He tries way too hard to be funny, or offending, depending on how you look at it. He has a stick on his objector in TF2 for everyone to see, he constantly calls people n-words and tries in his videos and on Steam, which has led to one of his Steam accounts receiving a community ban. He fights people in his comment section all the time, drops remarks about Russians, he really hates Russians. Well, you got me. It's your average basement troll doing the super edgy 2015 IDAP shtick, but in a very unfunny and obnoxious way. Kinda reminds me of those cancerous YouTube pranksters that have zero self-awareness to realize that they're not funny, but cancerous. But of course, if it was only about this, I wouldn't have made this video. You see, there is an interesting tendency that wannabe trolls like Ryan have in common. They love manipulating people, especially when they dislike someone or when someone gets on their nerves. They brainwash their viewers by painting those they don't like as the bad guys and painting their own selves as heroes or victims. And as we've learned from the case of Venusian Rapper, besides trolling, there is another, much more significant reason behind this manipulative behavior, and it is ego. The first time I ran into Ryan was back in January 2023. A bit sooner, we met for the second time on a random high tower server where I made a huge mistake. I started replying to him. I shouldn't have done it because, you know, don't feed the troll, but honestly, then it wouldn't have resulted in you watching this video right now, so whatever. After our second matchup, Ryan uploaded a video titled Varabe Pocketing Cheater and showing his gut complex in casual TF2. And yes, he named it TF2 Freak Show. Cool. A pathetic and hypocrite YouTuber Varabe making uh videos about cheaters, then without any shame play with them and even pocketing them. I knew it! I always thought there was something wrong with them. Thank you for confirming this. I will see if there is anything I can do. Thank you for uploading this video and bringing awareness to the fact that Varabe is a cheater slash supporter. I am Cartogo, by the way. This dude means that he was playing on the same team with Ryan when it all went down. Juicy. I'll be sure to spread the word, brother. <laughs> yeah, 100% real. No fake. <sighs> I'm sorry to say this, but it is real. 
I was playing from my main account that day, and it was in fact me pocketing a cheater in Ryan's video. He is not lying. That's a fuck up on my end, I know, and I want to sincerely apologize for it. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you. This is how manipulation works, everybody. Your perception is being controlled to make you think the way someone wants you to. The truth is, Ryan, for some interesting reason, forgot to mention that he had three cheaters in his own team which were focusing me. I don't have that much recorded, but thankfully all three of them did me a favor and left their comments on my Steam profile. These two are friends and they were playing in a party. Ryan didn't include me calling his cheaters out and him not only ignoring it, but teaming up with them. He also didn't include him calling me a cheater because I had around a 60 to 0 KD, I was destroying it that much. Unfortunately, I cannot prove it, so it's up to you to believe me or not. What Ryan did include though is me accusing him of cheating, which as you can tell perfectly adds up to his manipulation. Ew, but I be pocketing a cheater while accusing me of cheating? Ew, what a f it. Look at this fool, what a hypocrite. Get exposed, what I be. Anyway, I knew I was playing against four cheaters, Ryan included. Allegedly. So I started pocketing a cheater from my team because none of the enemy cheaters were getting kicked and the enemy team wanted to kick me instead because they were getting owned. Now this is the actual reason to why I was pocketing a cheater. I don't know, seems perfectly fair to me. If you don't agree, well, cry about it, motherfucker, because I would do it again any day. Oh, and me pocketing that cheater definitely made Ryan think that the cheater was a friend of mine, when in reality it was a random person. Yeah, the situation looks completely different now when you know the context, huh? So, Cardogo, why didn't you kick your cheaters and accused me of being one? Feel free to answer in my comment section, because I know you're watching and we'd all love to hear what you have to say now, buddy. Worth mentioning that I did get all three cheaters kicked from the server in the end. Okay, this should have given you a brief understanding of who Ryan is and what hides behind his so-called trolling, but why did I accuse him of cheating? Well, this is where the real fun begins. Let's have a closer look at Ryan's channel. We can see that he clearly doesn't like cheaters. I mean, who does, right? He makes fun of them in his videos, as well as ridiculous those who accuse him of cheating. Makes sense, since we don't see any cheat visuals in his recordings. But let's not forget that there is a function that allows cheaters to fully hide their cheat layout so their gameplay looks legit. Except it doesn't if a cheater is brain dead. Just like Ryan. Shoutouts to my fellas Midnight and Goldwyn. We had a quick investigation together where we managed to find many clips of Ryan cheating in his videos. Let's begin with ESP or wall hacks. To spot it, we need to look for suspicious pre-aims or pre-fires. They usually happen more often if a cheater is focusing someone specific. Like in this clip, where Ryan pre-fires a pyro. He is hard focusing this guy because they're having a duel. First we see him fighting these engineers, but then he spots his main target through a wall and pre-fires. But hey, maybe it was a perfectly timed spam rocket, you know, soldiers spam all the time. Okay, let's keep watching. Here, he shoots an enemy spy, but you know what, forget about that spy, because there is this dude that needs to die, which is much more important, because duel. Another clip. He's the poor guy with the pre-fire again. Notice how he starts going backwards not to get splash damaged by his own rocket. Then retreats and hits another pre-fire, as if he's a fucking oracle. And one more. Runs in and, you guessed it, pre-fires. Seems like he always knows where his main opening is. Nonetheless, let's not jump into conclusions yet, because this was not recorded live. This was recorded while playing back a TF2 demo file, and TF2 demos are funky. We know it's a demo because here it says 33 ticks per second, which is a demo file tick rate, while live recordings have 66 ticks per second on Valve casual servers. So to be 100% sure that Ryan is a closet cheater, let's watch his live recordings. This video, for example. 66 ticks, meaning it was recorded live. Perfect. In this video, Ryan is focusing a trolger, but he is yet to realize that him focusing people this hard makes his ESP obvious. Yeah, this is played in a shit. In this clip, he chases the same soldier, rocket jumps up the tower and pre-fires a rocket at a random spy. A bit later, he pre-fires that soldier. Pay attention to how he gets ready to shoot the ground before even seeing anybody. As I always say, one instance of potential cheating is never enough to prove anything, but with Ryan, we see a clear pattern going through most of his content. I'll play some more clips from other videos of his so we can finish the wall hacks chapter.
god, you're such a fucking retard, I can't. Alright, now we know that Ryan uses wall hacks, but does he use anything else? Oh boy, was I waiting for this moment for too long. My man Midnight has been terrorizing Ryan for quite a while, leaving funny comments to his videos, discussing him with other members of my Discord server, and there is something that's about to blow your mind. We found an instance of Ryan using Silent Aimbot on Sniper. Let me remind you that Silent Aimbot is a cheat that allows you to hit your enemies while not aiming directly at them. In TF2, sniper rifles always shoot exactly where you aim, and you have to be a massive fucking idiot to use Silent Aimbot in your live recordings due to how easy it is to spot. This surely did not stop Ryan from using it, and Midnight called him out for it on his YouTube and on Steam, where they had a cozy little conversation. Ryan replied with, it's just a pain, bro. But only a few days later, he would cut the clip out of his video. Yes, you can do it in YouTube Studio. This bitch ass edited his video so people don't see him cheating. I'm not showing you the clip because we don't have it. For a good reason though, so you wait guys. Patience, my friends. A few more days later, I found another crystal clear Silent Aimbot instance from the same video, but this time I recorded it, knowing that Ryan can edit his video again. By the way, all of this was happening around 8 months ago. I didn't even plan to make a video on this clown back then, not to give him attention that his parents clearly hadn't provided, but something would change my mind soon. In August 2023, someone mentioned Ryan on my Discord server again, and I decided to finally publish the clip that I had recorded. Here it is. Do you know what happened next? This is insane. Ryan did not even edit his video this time. He made it private. This pathetic little bitch privated his fucking video after getting indirectly exposed. And this was the moment when I changed my mind. I realized that Ryan is not a troll at all, because trolls do not care. They don't private their shit when somebody calls them out. They don't upload multiple videos on those who call them out. They don't do damage control on their YouTube community tabs or in video descriptions where they call others hypocrites and liars without actually responding to accusations or ignoring them at least. And trolls are definitely not afraid to admit that they cheat in games. Come on, they never even hide it to begin with. No, Ryan is is not a troll. He is a hypocritical, manipulative little pussy with an ego so massive yet fragile that the moment something goes wrong, he crumbles apart. I'm not really surprised about it because I've already dealt with a similar case before and all I can say is narcissist being narcissist, bro. This so far was only what I consider to be the funny side of Ryan. A bit deranged, yeah, but funny. And now let's move to his weird side. First, I want to point out that I'm not a psychiatrist of any sort, and what I'm about to share with you is nothing else but my personal opinion and observation, so make sure to take it with a grain of salt. It's well known that narcissists project a lot. It is their defense mechanism, through which they see their own negative behaviors, emotions and traits in someone else. Speaking of Ryan, these projections are evident by cheating. He desperately tries to hide it, mocks those who accuse him of it, and at the same time uploads videos where he makes fun of other cheaters. Some truly disgusting behavior, but it's just a game, bro, am I right? What I'm more concerned about is Ryan's favorite word, schizophrenia. He uses it a lot, maybe a bit too often. Why is this important? Well, previously Ryan had a different description of his YouTube channel. He has changed it since, but I managed to find it via Wayback Machine. A little channel of two friends who want to make content like on old times. Two friends, huh? Who is the second one then? Here we have two Steam accounts that belong to Ryan, one with a community ban and another that he uses nowadays. Here is another account with a similar name that belongs to his friend. It is a different person because they play together, so thank god Ryan's friend does in fact exist. And here is their mutual friend, who has a VAG ban and a game ban and who is a member of multiple cheating Steam groups. Whoever this person is, they left some comments on both Ryan's and his friend's profiles, as well as joined Ryan in this conversation. This all makes us believe that this is the third guy. However, when I started googling their Steam IDs, I found something strange. Ryan has a profile on some Russian Gary's Mod roleplay site, which is already odd by itself because he seems to be hating Russians and always pretends to be of a different nationality, but he's a member of Russian community and speaks Russian just fine. 
Anyway, he made a post complaining about an unfair ban and linked his Steam ID which leads to his current Steam account. Here is a different post where he asks for other players' opinions on him, referring to himself as Dante Virgilius. And here is another post about Dante Virgilius from someone else, who reported him for what a surprise, drawing sp I like it how it says he's at it again. Not gonna lie, his obsession with n**** shit stops seeming to be only jokes. But this is not really important. What's important here is that the reported ID of Dante Virgilius leads to that third person's account that I've shown before. Even more to say, I found another Russian RP site where Dante, aka Ryan, was reported for calling someone's mom a uh, with cancer. And guess what? The reported ID belongs to that same person again. So what the fuck is going on here? Well, there is no third person. It is Ryan all by himself. He even had the same profile picture for this account. My guess is that he decided to switch accounts after getting VAG banned so people don't instantly kick him for cheating, or maybe he was trying to dodge his ban from this Russian Gmod community, because yes, he had been permanently banned for cheating on their server, and confessed to it, as well as confirmed this account to be his main. I'd like to apologize to other players for cheating and being extremely toxic. I own up to my mistakes and will try not to repeat them. So this was a fucking lie. What am I trying to say here? Even if he tried to escape his past, it is still so weird to me. He could have done it without all this bipolar bullshit and no one would ever know or care. But instead, he pretended to be his own friend, left multiple comments to himself to make it seem real. Look at how different these two accounts are. Here, he's so open about cheating with all those Steam groups, but here, he tries his absolute best to hide it. It's like two different people. And what's even weirder, Ryan keeps playing this act to this very day. He still rejects a part of himself and ensures people that it's not him. It is wild. And it gets worse once you remember him calling everyone around him schizophrenics. You see what I mean now? That is very fucking concerning. Maybe it's just me and I'm overthinking things, but I don't see a single reason for him to behave like this other than serious ego issues, which he obviously has. To conclude this whole story, I'd like to share all the remaining evidence pieces and my other observations. On this Gmod side, Ryan has a year and a half history of comments, 90% of which is him fighting other players, as expected. Especially those who call him out on his bullshit. One of his favorite insults is no name, and at a certain point he even said that he is his own fan. Which was supposed to be sarcastic, but now when we've learned about his unhinged mental gymnastics, it's not as funny anymore. He got a bit upset when someone called his video editing skills garbage, which is true, and replied with, oh yeah, a 16-year-old telling me how to edit videos. He once roasted someone for their salary, calling them poor, while this is how his own PC runs a 2007 game. Projection after projection, gentlemen. It's senseless to claim that he is not being serious with his replies. His ego gets genuinely hurt, and he feels the need to answer back no matter what. Ryan was indeed banned multiple times, for inciting ethnic hatred with his nazi stuff. And he is not comfortable with voice chatting, because he wants to stay anonymous. I wonder why. This list can go on and on, but I'm too lazy to check all of his comments, so I'ma drop a link to his page in the video description, in case you wanna Google translate this fuckery. Almost forgot to say, yes, he is Russian. If him writing in fluent Russian is not enough, while googling his Steam IDs, I found a record of him playing on a random TF2 server, which states that he connected from Russia. Ryan's current account is permanently banned from a TF2 MGE server by one of the best and most reliable anti-cheats. This ban reason means that Ryan can utilize crit hacks or no spread cheats. He tried joining the server from his old account, which got permabanned too. As for Ryan's most recent shenanigans, he's been trying to discredit Midnight, calling him, yes, schizophrenic, and even uploaded a video fully dedicated to him. Yo, Midnight, good job with getting into this degenerate's head this easily. You didn't even try. Ryan also made a video on another person within my Discord server who accused him of cheating. And he already knew that my video was going to be on him. And this is what he said. One guy shared with me info from his Discord server. But when I see the evidence of my cheats, I died from laugh. If he want to bury himself, he can do it. 
Bro, even reading this shit is beyond embarrassing. I can't stop noticing more and more similarities between Ryan and Venusian Rapper. Their constant lies, manipulation, projection, lame as damage control and over the top edginess. Something is not right in their fucking heads because it's just not okay for a person to live in such deep delusions and behave like this. It's, it's fucking creepy. It's like Ryan is Venusian's Russian clone, except he's not a predator. Even though naming your local disc Hot Gage is... I don't even know what to say. Did you really think this was funny? Did you think that we would get trolled by this or, or what? And I'm pretty sure you are an adult, which makes it even worse. And this is where Ryan's story ends, everybody. At least for now, because we can never know what weirdos like him can bring to the table in the future. Whatever happens next, I'll keep you updated, so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And leave a like and comment to this video to boost it in the algorithm. Thanks for watching, guys. I wish you an amazing day and see you in the next one. Peace.